When I was born in 1965, my parents gave me the name Richard Melville Hall. My dad had a sense of humor and he nicknamed me Moby based on the Herman Melville relation. And now 47 years later, I'm still saddled with my infant joke family name. My entire life, I've had to be in sort of accidental apologist for Moby Dick. Every teacher I had, everyone I've met has always asked me like, oh, well, how did you get the name Moby? People assumed that like Bono or Sting or Madonna, it was a name I had chosen. But no, I've had this nickname since I was 10 minutes old. And it's forced me time and time and time again to question this name. If I could have been named after any literary figure ever, what's the significance, if any, of being named after this whale? As far as I know, I mean, both my parents are dead and everyone on my father's side of the family is dead, but what I was told growing up is that Herman Melville was my great, great, great granduncle. And my whole name, you know, Richard Melville Hall, and my nickname Moby, it's all based on the relationship. I assume it's true. I mean, I don't know why you would lie to an infant. <laughs> I love Melville, not just because of the family relation, the Moby Dick is, from my perspective, ostensibly the first modern book. But there's that great quote where he basically says, read it if you can, where he's talking about what Moby Dick on a symbolic level represents. I don't think there is fixed symbolism attached to the character of Moby Dick. Moby Dick, whether it's a man or a woman, represented something different to everybody on the boat and to everyone who might read it. And Melville was really aware of that. What's the symbolism? What's the meaning? I presumptuously and potentially narcissistically think that my interpretation is more legitimate because I'm named Moby. Ahab, from my perspective, is very specifically, but in a more general way, 19th century, arrogant, self-involved humankind. Of thinking that by like covering the earth and labeling the earth and measuring the earth, you somehow are bigger than the earth and you've taken control of it. And Ahab, like humanity, is driven crazy by the fact that there's this natural order out there. We as a species have so much self-importance and it sort of drives us crazy through the vehicle of Ahab that the universe doesn't care. The universe is this vast, at times seemingly sort of malevolent cipher. And that's kind of what Moby Dick is. Moby Dick is just content to just ignore humans except when provoked. And when provoked, it's almost like a Moby Dick as a casual afterthought kills everyone. You really couldn't possibly think of any other character in literature that I'd rather be named after.